welcome. This is me, Django, and Blue. Are you there, Blue? What up? There he is. There we Right, we're doing some talk about the Wasteland Angel demo, which is on Steam and various other places, and you can play it with controls, a controller, or keep on a mouse. Basically, Blue, this is like, um, if you think about Mad Max, uh, something like Tank Girl or something like that, and really old school games like Death Rally, where you kind of just ride around in a little car, top down view and shoot stuff. It's basically like that. So the controls, as you can tell, are like pretty straightforward. And there you are, baby. Let's burn it up. Oh, no. Straight oh. Under Look at me go! Hear me. After that, when I heard the Wasteland Angel, all I really pictured was some sort of Borderlands wall, so... I'm pretty yeah. open to what we can have here. So, basically you get waves of enemies that come in. And you can shoot them, obviously. And sometimes they drop off these little guys that you can run over. And the idea, you see this kind of building that's at the top of the screen that I'm kind of... Oh my god, help me, I'm on the side. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you can kind of circle. I'm circling a kind of a settlement, if you like. Well, basically, that's what you kind of have to protect. And these waves of enemies uh, kind of come in and try and like steal the um, civilians that live there. There's a couple of different story modes. You can play level mode, which, you know, you just shoot stuff and level up and whatever. And there's a story mode, which has got these kind of cutscenes in it. Which, obviously, you know, it's an indie game, so, you know, it's not going to be anything too amazing in the cutscenes. Mutated sons of a bitch. I like it already. <laughs> it's hillbillies and aliens. What the hell? Man, Kicking Jedwood in the face, sound me. So this is how these kind of things start, and this is obviously all from the demo, so you, you get a couple of different settings. Um, there's not that many settings in, in the actual full game, uh, although there are different factions and 24 levels and all that kind of thing. And it gets quite hectic. And as you kind of, you see that thing that I'm shooting there, that's like, it's almost like a slaver, it's a van picking up slaves, and as you can see at the top of the screen, the civilian count's kind of counting down the longer those things are near the settlement. So I have to kind of go around and shoot stuff, and every time that alarm sounds, one of them stealing, there it is over there, and they drop things that boost your health or give you new weapons and stuff like that that you can switch to. Oh, you got a new gun now? Eh? It's like, come again, come left for dead, come... What the hell? I, I guess this has got co-op. Uh, well, yeah, it's got it's got a few different things going for it. Um, I mean, it's got, like I said, a few factions and stuff like that. I'm not aware that it's got... Um, co-op as such. I don't remember seeing that anywhere. Uh, I don't think it's listed as that anyway, but um, but to be honest, I, when I first loaded it up, I kind of thought, what on earth? I'm not sure that I'll enjoy this. Even if it's, even as an indie game, I thought, you know, it might be alright. But it's actually quite fun. It's a little frustrating at times, because the car isn't all that easy to control, as you can see when we're driving into the wall. Oh, no, city. No, but there's a couple of cool things that you can do. You can drop turrets, and there's nuclear bombs that you can launch out the back of your little car. And there's bosses and stuff. But you're right, it's very much like Carmageddon. I know what you mean. Sort of top-down Carmageddon with... Yeah, with zombies. Or whatever they are. I don't even get what they are. They're hillbillies or they're zombies. What what are these dudes? Well they're kind they, of this they is, just seem mad. It's set after basically World War Three has happened, right? Oh and, yeah. And it's very much like a kind of Mad Max type setup where you're 
well instead of being a kind of slightly gaunt Australian dude um, you're kind of you know a kind of a Lara Croft tank girl type throwback <laughs> um, and the only person that can defend this whole area from these people who are invading it and trying to you know steal everybody um, and these people that are coming in are just like kind of bandits basically Okay, so solid story then. One yeah. for the uh, the RPG guys out there. Yeah, it's um, yeah, I think story kind of took a little bit of a back, um, a little bit of a back step on this one. Whoa, trucks of hate and Macwell's got no civilians. What the hell? I see what you mean about it getting a bit hectic once it starts ramping up a bit. I. Uh... But it's, it's a bit weird because you get little markers, you can see them moving across the bottom of the screen where you mm. can see the direction of where enemies are coming from. But as you can see from what I did there, there aren't any there. You ride off and you kind of bounce off the edge of the screen back in. It's quite, it's a bit strange. And this is as far back as you can scroll. You can't scroll any further back to see further or change the angle so you're behind the car or something like that. Or at least I didn't find a way to do it. So that's a bit, a little bit odd, but. Oh, turrets of hatred? Nah, but we're going to skip forward just a level because you see a few other bits of that. So what are these bits you're picking up now on the floor? These brown glowing chisel is good, but... They can be like um, armor things. They can improve improve your weapons. You can do a little bit of customizing on your, on your car and stuff like that. And they can also be like, you know... EMP ab abilities, which we'll see a little bit later on in the video. But um, but yeah, I mean it's it's pretty much the same all the way through. I mean, it, on some of the other stuff that I've read about it, you know, there's all sorts of things that you do. I mean, what you're doing in the demo obviously is pretty basic, but yeah, there's a few other little kind of fun things to do. And bearing in mind, you know, I mean on on Steam or I think it's like it's hardly anything to buy it's like seven quid <laughs> so you're not gonna get massive amount of gameplay I mean there's 24 levels like I say and you know a few other little bits and bobs so and cheats and stuff yeah, it looks quite fun ah, it's kind it's, of it's, it's kind of hectic but I, d I do think Again, it's another one where they're missing a trick by bringing... But if it's not there, I don't know, you haven't said, but... If there's multiplayer, this could be a good laugh. I think too many of these silly little indie games do miss that side of things, where you can kind of get together with some mates and oh. enjoy it together. Check this out. Crane of Destruction, baby! Oh! Destroy! Oh my god, look at the numbers. Oh my god. Rank I like I, I like the game style though. Level of noobs, crane of destruction. They're keeping it simple. Uh, no confusion here. You are the pwn, they are the enemy. Kill. I mean there's a lot of stuff that's kind of tied up with the achievements and stuff, like the you know, combo kills and various other things, so. I think there's like 40 or something different achievements, Plenty so it doesn't slap. Ah, yeah, definitely. But I mean, I didn't notice it having any kind of um, uh, multiplayer side of it at all that I remember. I think it's purely single player. But nonetheless, it's still kind of fun if you're just in the mood to ride around and destroy stuff. Yeah, it, lo it looks like just kind of a new take on that old school top-down, side-scrolling, shoot-em-up sort of Xenon-type game where you want to spend uh, an hour or so just blowing shit up. Could be uh, a good laugh. Uh, I mean, I'm playing on medium difficulty here and I'm still not taking all that much damage, really. Not taking much damage, but it's, it, it doesn't look like you're having it all your way, either. There's a lot of those big-ass trucks that keep coming. Uh, but I've got my rockets. I'm bringing the hate. Your car certainly looks a lot cooler. I fear, perhaps slightly impractical. 
<laughs> this is why I'm going around in circles because it just weighs too much. <laughs> and this is a bit towards the end of the demo where you get to experience a boss. Whoa. And that's the big guy at the back there. Um, and the, with this, it took me a little while to work out what on earth I was meant to do because I was shooting him and nothing would happen. Uh, and as you can see, he pwned me there. But um, basically, the idea with this is that you shoot the little guys and they drop a thing called an EMP, which when you ride near him, you can set off. And it's just left and right mouse buttons. It's very simple controls. And then he got, kind of gets stunned for a bit and then you can shoot, you know, Chug, 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 shoot away at him and it gets down his health but and you'll see a little bit of that but just to give you an idea of just what the the boss game plays like in the yeah there's more to it than uh, just drive around avoid the slough and, and hit him I, I mean it's very straightforward game but I, I mean I actually quite enjoyed it it was quite fun it was quite fast paced there was a lot to do But I, I wondered about, you know, I mean, although it's only seven quid, I have to be honest, I wondered how much uh, I would replay it if I did get it. Yeah, I know what you mean. It looks to me like the sort of game that you could have a fun for a bit and then you get kind of bored after a while because there's obviously not that much variation to it. Yeah. But for seven quid, if you're just bored waiting for something else to come out, it's probably not a bad thing at all. No, you can't argue with indie games, but that is the wonderful part to them and the market in general is there's so many little bits of fun out there that for the price of renting a movie, you're sorted. Uh, and there you go, just as a kind of a brief summary of uh, what the game's got in it. That's what it's got, all sorts of things, but yeah, it wasn't bad and it's worth checking out the demo. It's on Steam and a couple of other places, but that's it for now. Goodbye, Blue. Goodbye, you, Amy. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good, my four. Never Hell fear. Me. Never fear. Hang on, shall I stop recording? Oh, Maybe. Fuck. Wait, 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 wait. You have to start again, Mac. I didn't press play. Hey, <laughs> oh, just This is sitting here. Hello, and welcome to, I don't know what this is. It's the Wasteland Angel demo with me, Django, and Narayan. Uh, no, hey, stop. Hey, <laughs>